Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a part of my how to grow and scale your YouTube channel playlist. So today we are going to be working on how to create Google YouTube ads for your videos. So um, let's get a couple of backstory first. Um, I'm only using Google YouTube ads for videos. Um, to be able to increase my views or if I'm trying to sell something or or you just want to if you have incredible content you can use it for to increase your subscribers but most of the times these do not result in subscribers so I just want to put a warning out there right now a lot of the times your ads will not result in subscribers unless you have a really great channel really great content and that they just really want to follow you so why do we use Google YouTube apps the reason why I am using Google YouTube ads is because I am trying to use something um, to sell something or put my affiliate link in something and if I get some residual subscribers that's great too so um, we are on um, this is Tatiana's world and so I'm only showing you guys a portion of my screen because if you guys actually saw how many tabs I have open you guys would probably like chastise me so um, let's show you guys my actual channel and so this is my how to grow and scale your um, YouTube channel and a lot of people, they tell you all these tips and everything when they have a million subscribers already. So I'm going to give you guys this perspective from somebody that's starting off new, starting off from scratch. I have um, maybe three or four channels and I'm starting to grow them all. Um, and so you will see this is the one that I'm uploading to, which is Tatiana's World, which is going to be related to my blog as well as to um, this lifestyle YouTube channel. So as you guys can see, I have 52 subscribers. And I'm going to show you guys, as today is March 9th, 2019. So as time goes on, as you guys continue to watch my um, channel, you'll see my subscriber count going up. So let's get started on how to actually create some YouTube ads. So there's two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you guys through actual AdWords. So if you're in AdWords um, and you've already set up, you've got your payment methods set up, this is um, assuming that you've already got a Google Ads campaign um, account. So let's get started. We want to go over here. We're on Google Ads and we're going to click Add. So we want to start a new campaign. And then it's going to give you a couple of options on what you want your campaign to be. So do you want it for sales, for leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach, or app promotion? So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get the most people um, I can possibly get to have eyes on my channel so I'm going to start off with brand awareness and reach all right so you have a choice between display ads or video ads we want video ads and it kind of walks you through it as well and it gives you a couple of choices do you want a skippable in-stream ad um, a bumper ad non-skippable in-stream outstream or do you want to do a sequence of ads because they have described what each one of these is, I'm not going to go over that with you. When you decide to make your own campaign, you can read these and decide which one you want to choose. For today, we are going with the skippable in-stream ad. All right, sorry about that, took a little long. So as you can see, we have a type is a video campaign. Our goal is brand awareness and reach. The campaign name is I'm going to say Rakuten Ebates, and I like to give it a date. So day we starting with this ad, 319. Let's do it for three days just to get a little feel of how this works. And I wanna come back and show you guys results. So I'll come back with the, the 12th with the results. Well, the 13th once the results have come in. Budget type, you can choose between a daily budget or a campaign total. So if you, you want a daily budget, you can say you want $1 a day for three days. If you want to say you want to spend a total of $3 for the whole campaign, um, that would be you know $3 for the whole campaign. I like to do a daily, so I'm going to just start off really small so you guys can just see that you can start off with pretty much anything. Um, delivery method, I'm going to do standard because I like for it to just go throughout the whole day. Accelerate it means we're going to go through your budget, eat it up as fast as we possibly can. So I don't want that for this method. I want the start date to be as soon as ads are approved, but you can also select a date here if you want to, if you're launching your campaign on a, a, you know, a future date. 
And for our end date, we're going to put the 12th because we say we're going to do this for three days. All right. So bidding strategy. Um, the only one that they're giving us for this option is target CPM, so we can't change that. Networks. I am only wanting it to appear on YouTube videos. I don't have the option to have it coming in YouTube results, search results, because we didn't select a campaign that would allow that. And I don't want it on video partners on the display network. If I put it on video partners on the display network, that would tend to put my video on other people's blogs and things of that nature. And sometimes that's a great thing when you're, you know, but for this specific instance, I'm just targeting YouTubers that are people are watching YouTube on that day. I don't want people on the blogs. So um, languages, you can, if you're, you know, you're speaking a certain language, you can put that in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and target English, but also I'm going to be targeting the United States. You don't have to select a language if you don't want to, but um, here you can target all countries and territories. You can do United States and Canada. You can do United States or you can go, you know, city by city. So say Los Angeles. Um or you can you know, start putting in as many cities as you want. If you want to do, say, where am I was born, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, you can put those. You can go as many cities. If you want to target people in certain cities, you can do that. But I'm good with targeting everyone that's in the United States today. So I'm going to um, X out of those into another location, make sure that's cleared out. And I'm just going to target United States for my location. Inventory type, um, this is where you would say, where do you want this ad to actually show up? They recommend standard inventory because, um, you know, that's their recommendation. I tend to go with expanded inventory because I don't care what you are watching on YouTube. If I target you correctly, I'm going to have good results. So. Um, I don't care by doing expanded inventory. I don't care if you're watching a video that has excessive profanity. We're all adults. Graphic sexual content and nudity. If you're watching some bikini videos, that's your business. And if you want to watch, you know, fights, I don't care. If you're watching graphic violence and serious injury, I don't care. I can target who I want to target. Some people, they, you know, the safe way are only safe videos. But if you're really nailing down your targeting, you don't have to worry about limiting your inventory. What you know, websites, I mean, excuse me, what videos you will appear on. So for excluded content, I do um, not worry about this as well. Um, you may want to exclude some if you don't want it to be on tragedy and conflict videos. So if you don't want your ad to pop up on somebody watching 911 video, um, you know, 911 videos, you can, you know, click X out of tragedy and conflict. If you don't want something that has a buff of profanity and rough language, you can X out of that as well. So I don't care for those. Um, I, you, I can skip those. But which ones that I am going to exclude? I do not like to have my ads show up on embed, embedded videos. I don't like my ads to show up on live streaming videos. And I hate games. Those are the worst for spending your money. Because um, you, you've ever been, you know, on an app and um, they'll have a game. It's, the little ad is so tiny. However, you accidentally click on it. And you don't even mean to click on it, but you're getting taken to this person's website or whatever. And now I'm the advertiser. I'm getting charged for that. I don't like that. So I just hate games um, because I'm not doing a sexually, um, you know, uh, alcohol, anything over 21 or sexually suggestive or anything like that. I don't need to say that I'm excluding or including mature audiences. But, you know, you come through and you can say which audiences you want to exclude. So if you were doing something for mature audiences, you would definitely um, say that you want to X out of um, content that's suitable for families or content that is for parental guidance, those kind of things. So you can go through and choose those for yourself. If you need some additional information on what each one means, you just, you know, hover over the little question mark and it will tell you. So I don't have to worry about any of that because I'm doing something that's friendly. <laughs> So um, devices, you can uh, target specific devices if you want. I leave that as is. For frequency capping, I do like to cap it. So um, I will say cap impression frequency. So I will limit how many times my ads can show to the same user. 
because I'm going to enter it to three times per day. You can choose per week, per month. You can put whatever impressions you want um, for each campaign that you're doing. I say if you have seen my ad three times and you haven't clicked on it or watched it all the way through, you're not interested. So no need to keep you know showing it to you. Let's go on to the next person. My ad schedule, you can choose what time, dates and times you want it to run. I'm good with 24 hours. I'm only spending a dollar, so how long is it really going to go? And as far as my ad name, I like to come back up here and copy that again. So my campaign name will also be the same thing as my ad group name. And also when I get further down, it'll be my ad name as well. Let's see if I can scroll down now. No, it hasn't popped up yet. All right, so we'll go back to ad group name. So we can name that wherever you want. Now, this is where the magic happens. You need to determine how you want to target um, your ad, who you're going to show it to. Um, so, sorry, my phone's trying to vibrate in the background. Demographics. So if you know that you're targeting women or men or unknown, you can click out of that. I don't care. Um, but for this specific ad, I think it's probably going to do better with females and I'll, I'll throw in unknowns. I don't care. You know, that's fine for me. Um, well, I'm going to do all ages, but if you know that something, if you sell skincare cream for older women, then you would start probably at 45 and go up 65 plus. If it's something that, you know, it's targeted to young girls, um, then you may want 18 to 24 women. For what I'm going to be, my ad, I, it doesn't matter their age. Um, their parental status does not matter to me. And their household income size does not matter to me. But these are all ways that you can uh, narrow your targeting. And your audience, you can um, go down here and you can, let's say, browse for your audience. So say you know what you want to do. So... Um, you can search and filter by term, phrase, or earl. So let's say I'm going to do, let's take the skincare cream for older women. Um, let's say, um, what's the name of something? Let's say, let's just throwing anything out there. Oil of Olay. It will pick for the first category some topics that you may want to use. So you, is it something that you're advertising or talking about related to tanning and sun care products? If so, you'll click that. Since we're doing our example, it was saying Olive Olay, that's not a good fit for me because Olive Olay is not a tanning or sun care product. But I maybe want to target somebody that's interested in bath and body products. I may want to target somebody that's interested in face care products. And when it says in market audiences, in market means they are actually looking to purchase right then and there. So they are ready to buy. So if you're somebody that's looking to target somebody that's in market to buy face care products, then yes, you would want definitely want to click on Oil of Olay. All right. And you can keep going like that. So that's the first one that you can try. We can click out of there. to get, So that's who they are. Detailed demographics. Oh, excuse me. That wasn't who they are. This is who they are. <laughs> that was just doing um, search and filter by a term, a phrase, or a website, Earl. So we did Oil of Olay, and that came up with some pre-populated ideas. So if we want to, you know, target someone by who they are, we only want, you know, parents. You can, of infants, of toddlers, of preschoolers, you can target someone like that. If you only want someone that's married or single, you can target them. If you want someone that's um, current college student you can target that home ownership status are they homeowners are they renters and the list keeps going on and on you can choose from that for your target what are their interests and habits so you can say your affinity audiences are um, let's say somebody that's interested in beauty and wellness i love people that are beauty mavens or frequently visit salons then you may want to target them if you're a food channel you do mukbangs you may want to look for people who are cooking enthusiasts, but maybe you don't want to target all cooking enthusiasts, but you want to narrow down, niche it down some more. Maybe people that are 30 minute chefs would be a good target for you or an aspiring chef. So what you want to do is you just want to come through and you'll want to play with all of these different ones, the different affinity audiences. They keep going and going. So they really try to help you target what you're doing. Um, the people that are most likely to like your videos. All right. What are they actively researching or planning? So those were back to the end market audiences. They're actively searching for this kind of stuff. So as you can see, there's different categories here. 
like we just said about food. You have baked goods, candy and chocolate. So say you have, you know, a barbecue sauce you're selling, you would target people that are interested in actively researching or planning condiments and sauces. You never know what they've been searching on Google. Google has all of their information. They know, hey, they've been looking up Heinz A1 steak sauce. They, you know, they want you. So you can target people like that. And um, how they have interacted with your business. This is really good for remarketing. So um, once you have gotten your channel established and you have your appropriate um, meta, um, you know, tags and analytics set up, you can go back and retarget people. So if you have a website, so I do different ads for different things. I have a jack of all trades. I have websites, I do a blog and I am starting my YouTube channel now. So that's where I have experience from. So you guys will see once you get your analytics set up on your website or your, you know, Google analytics channel or your YouTube, you can retarget people that may have visited your website or have watched your YouTube videos in the past. Um, and Google will also create a similar audience for you. So um, these are all similar audiences that you can choose from and it would actually tell you the size of your audience as well that they have created someone that's similar to it. Um, if you upload and list, it would be here as a combined AdWord optimized list. And then also you can do website visitors as well. So one of my websites, it could target people that um, is a Google smart list. That's kind of, I don't care about to explain that. Or people that have purchased in the last 90 days. I just got this website up and running as far as analytics is concerned. And so, um, you know, this is giving me, okay, all the people that came to this website in the last 30 days, which is 510 people. Um, it's not necessarily the people that have come to my website, but it's the people that have come to my website and Google knows that they are have a YouTube uh, affiliation so they have a most likely a gmail account and they watch they're logged in when they watch youtube so all the people in the last 30 days that have visited my website and have some affiliation with watching a google youtube video i could target all 510 of those people okay um and it'll also have like um once you start to do videos, it'll also say that you can retarget anybody that's watched your video. You can set it up so anybody that's watched my video in the last 30 days, anybody that's watched my video in the last seven days, whatever, whatever. Okay, we're just doing a brief overview of how to get your ads set up. So for let's go back to what I'm actually doing. Oh, also you can create ideas. So if you are, um, let's go back to, you know, something you can create an idea here and it'll populate some stuff for you. What I'm actually doing a video for is an affiliate link that I'm trying to promote. So what I'm going to do, I'm interested in people that like to shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the original list all the way back and I'm going to say what their interests and habits are. And then I'm going to say um, affinity audiences and I'm going to go down to shoppers and um, I can click on all the shoppers, which will pretty much include all of these, or I can say I only want shopaholics, or I only want drop down menu shoppers by a certain store type. I like people that go to 7-Eleven. I like people that shop at Macy's. I like people that like to shop at Kroger or, you know, whatever Superstore is. I don't know. Maybe Sam's Club, Costco. I don't know. Or I only want value shoppers. So you can choose. I am going to choose all shoppers and make sure that I can, I um, have everyone. I am clicking on all of them. So I've got everything from the shoppers list. So I've got, I'm targeting bargain hunters. I'm talking, targeting luxury shoppers. I'm targeting shopaholics and I'm targeting shoppers by store type and as well as value shoppers. So as you can see, all of these populated over here and let's see if I can get this out of the way. Nope won't get out of the way come on close all right so if I wanted to take value shoppers out this little box is where I would click it's hiding behind here I don't know how to get this out of here maybe because of my website there we go it wasn't full screen sorry um, so if I decided you know what value shoppers isn't right for me I can take value shoppers out and that's how you X out of it but I do want value shoppers so I'm gonna put it back in there it will give you what your weekly estimates are so if I was to run this ad um, every day for a week with my one dollar a day budget it um, populates estimates that I will probably reach 960 million impressions what is an impression an impression is basically um, 
what's your campaign, how many people, well, not how many people, but how many times your campaign would most likely be shown. Um, I don't think 960 million is an accurate amount if I was to do a dollar a day at um, targeting, I mean, I, maybe I might have, you know, 0. 0.00001 cent per view. And in that case, I could have 960 million impressions for a week if I did this for $1 a day for um, seven days. I don't know. You can also target people by keywords. So say you wanted to type in um, a website if you have a website. So say you want to target people by Sephora. It's going back to if you have oil of Olay that you're trying to target. So it'll tell you people that are actively searching for Sephora makeup palette, Sephora.com, Sephora makeup. And it'll, you can target people by keywords. So people that are actually searching for Sephora products, your ad would show up in front of them. Okay. So you can, this is very useful if you know keywords that you want to target. Um, if you don't know which keywords you want to target, there's a keyword tool here on Google ads that you can use. If you go to, um, I believe it's tools up here and then you go to keyword planner, it can help you with some. Also, if you want to go, um, and download a Chrome extension, what I have done is I've created a Chrome, well, not created a Chrome extension. I have downloaded a Chrome extension and it's called keywords everywhere. I do believe. And so I have that, yeah, Keywords Everywhere is the keyword tool that I have downloaded to Chrome. It's right there, as you guys can see, Keywords Everywhere. And it will populate something for me if I do a Google search. So say, I, I know I'm doing like a million different examples and I should just use one for you guys this whole time and I apologize for that. But say I did a Google search for Sephora. With this Chrome extension, if I come down here to the right-hand side, it will populate some keywords and stuff that most likely are being used and what their volume is and how much the cost per click usually is with a regular Google ad, not a YouTube ad. So these are words that people are searching for when they search for Sephora. These 74,000 people per month are searching for a Sephora coupon. 49,000 were searching for Sephora Black Friday 2018, Sephora makeup, Black Friday. So these are all keywords that you can use. And once you do move on to regular Google ads, this is really good to kind of let you know how much other people are paying for ads to, you know, be number one on, you know, that Google ad. So if I wanted to come up number one for a Sephora coupon, it's going to cost me about 75 cents for each person that clicks on my ad. So this is just how I get some keywords sometimes, but we're not doing that with this video. I just wanted to be able to show you guys some alternative ways. So I'm not targeting people by keywords in this ad, but if you have something that's really niche specific, keywords is a great way to be able to get in front of those people. Because my ad is pretty broad, my, my video, YouTube video is pretty broad, I just need to target people that like to shop. So um, you can also target people by topics. So people that like arts and entertainment, maybe people that are, you know have adults, if you're selling, um, you know, say a motorcycle uh, widget so that people can hold their cell phone on their mic bicycle, you might want to target people that have, you know, auto vehicles and you can say bicycles and accessories or whatever. I don't know. You guys just play around with all of these different topics beauty and fitness. You can see what's down there. You can do the drop down. I don't need that to target people by that. Um, and you can see all the different topics that you can, oh, there we have shopping. So let's see if we can target maybe some people by, you know, I, I'm not even going to go through with these people. I'm, I'm going to stick with what I have right now. You can double up on them, but I just want to show you guys, you know, that I'm just going to target this ad strictly um, how I've done it above, which is solely by audiences, affinity audiences, what their interests and habits are. I'm simply targeting people for that. All right. You guys want to play around with this or this tutorial will be 10 hours long if I try to go through and explain everything. And we all like that. All right. Um, if you want a specific placement, you can do this as well. I love to do this with some of my businesses. So um, say that you're back to, um, gosh, I'm so horrible with coming up with these 
So let's stick with barbecue sauce as our example. So I want I have a video that says I have the best barbecue sauce ever. I can target channels that are related to barbecue sauce. So all things barbecue. I want my ad to show up to all, you know, anybody that's watching something on all things barbecue. They have 246,000 subscribers. So, you know, they may be interested in my barbecue sauce. You know, Skits probably talks about barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is a topic. Only has one subscriber. Not a good look to target that. Barbecuing with Franklin. They These people would be interested in my barbecue sauce. These 278,000 subscribers, they want to hear about my barbecue sauce. So you can target by YouTube channels. Maybe you don't want to target a certain YouTube channel, but maybe a certain YouTube video. You know what? Here are the five barbecue sauces every Southerner needs. You know, I want my barbecue sauce commercial to come in before his video starts. So I would click that. Or homemade barbecue sauce, 1.38 million views, 124,000 views. You can target by specific videos. Um, if you want to target people on websites, you know what? I'm going to have my barbecue sauce show up, my video show up on amazingribs.com. You can click that. So, um, same thing with apps. I hate targeting on apps. I really do. But they used to have a way that you can exclude that, but they've changed that so you can't exclude apps anymore. But hey. So that's one way to target by placements. I don't have to worry about that for this video, but that is an example of how you can do that for your ads if you want to. This is where our magic is. So we want to target our CPM bid. Um, most people that teach these types of courses, they you can get views for pennies on the dollar. Sometimes they say start at one cent to five cents. So what we'll do is we will start at five cents per view, which I think these will most likely end up being in the one to two cent per view. And if your targeting is amazing, you can get 0 0.001 cent per view. I have done that in the past. Um, if this is going to be a channel that has a lot of views or is really popular, you want to you know, maybe double your bid. So I can go all the way up to, <clears throat> I'll say I'll, I'll spend up to 10 cents per view because I really want this person to watch. These numbers you can pin up here by yourself, whatever you choose. Um, should we do one cents just so we're showing you guys? Well, let's just do keep five cents for now. We could do another video with we do one cents later. All right, so here is where you would create your video ad. So I'm going to look for a, a certain video. I'm just gonna to go to YouTube and get my video Earl. So let's see here. And this is the one that I want to um, get people to view. So actually I'm in one of my other channels and I'm not subscribed, so I'll subscribe myself. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna copy this link. This is my actual video that I'm going to be advertising. It is pretty much my affiliate link for Ebates. So I want people to be able to sign up for Ebates using my affiliate link. 